The Armenian alphabet Armenian, Hayak Gur Hayak, Gur or Hayak Abubin Hayak, Abobin, Eastern Armenian, Hajats Ajbubn, Western Armenian, Hajats Ajpupn is an alphabetical writing system used to write Armenian. It was developed around 405 AD by Mesrop Mashtots, an Armenian linguist and ecclesiastical leader. The system originally had 36 letters, eventually, two more were adopted. The Armenian word for alphabet is Abubin Abobin, named after the first two letters of the Armenian alphabet, A Armenian, Abe Yb and B Armenian, Ben Ben. Armenian is written horizontally, left to right. Alphabet <laughs> 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 Listen to the pronunciation of the letters in Eastern Armenian or in Western Armenian. Notes. Carat only used in classical orthography, word initially and in some compound words. Carat except in ov, ov, who, ovker ovk er, those people, and ovkianos, ovkianos, ocean. Carat Iranian Armenians, a subbranch of Eastern Armenians, pronounce this letter as, like in classical Armenian. Carat in classical orthography, U and Ev are considered a digraph and a ligature, respectively. In reformed orthography, they are separate letters of the alphabet. Carat in reformed orthography, the letter W appears only as a component of U. In classical orthography, the letter usually represents V, except in the digraph IV, JU. The spelling reform in Soviet Armenia replaced IV with the trigraph U. Carat except in the present tense of to be. M M I am S S you are saying ank ank we are e k h you are place n n they are the letter, as generally, the are are the letter is generally used only at the start or end of a word and so the sound is unwritten between consonants topic ligatures topic Ancient Armenian manuscripts used many ligatures. Some of the commonly used ligatures are M plus N, M plus E, M plus I, V plus N, M plus X, F E plus W, etc. Armenian print typefaces also include many ligatures. In the new orthography, the character EV is no longer a typographical ligature, but a distinct letter, placed in the new alphabetic sequence, before O. Punctuation Topic. Armenian punctuation marks include The Kaykertner are used as ordinary quotation marks and they are placed like French guillemets, just above the baseline preferably vertically centered in the middle of the X height of Armenian lowercase letters. The computer-induced use of English-style single or double quotes vertical, diagonal or curly forms, placed above the baseline near the M height of uppercase or tall lowercase letters and at the same level as accents is strongly discouraged in Armenian as they look too much like other, unrelated, Armenian punctuations. The storacket is used as a comma, and placed as in English. The boot which looks like a comma-shaped reversed apostrophe is used as a short stop, and placed in the same manner as the semicolon, to indicate a pause that is longer than that of a comma, but shorter than that of a colon. In many texts it is replaced by the single opening single quote a six-shaped, or mirrored nine-shaped, or descending wedge-shaped elevated comma, or by a spacing grave accent. The midjacket whose single dot on the baseline looks like a Latin full stop is used like an ordinary colon, mainly to separate two closely related but still independent clauses, or when a long list of items follows. The verjacket whose vertically stacked two dots look like a Latin colon is used as the ordinary full stop, and placed at the end of the sentence many texts in Armenian replace the verjacket by the Latin colon as the difference is almost invisible at low resolution for normal texts, but the difference may be visible in headings and titles as the dots are often thicker to match the same optical weight as vertical strokes of letters, the dots filling the common X height of Armenian letters, Armenian punctuation marks used inside a word. The yentamna is used as the ordinary Armenian hyphen. The pativ was used as an Armenian abbreviation mark, and was placed on top of an abbreviated word to indicate that it was abbreviated. It is now obsolete. 
The apodarts is used as a spacing apostrophe which looks either like a vertical stick or wedge pointing down, or as an elevated nine-shaped comma, or as a small superscript left to right closing parenthesis or half ring, only in Western Armenian, to indicate elision of a vowel, usually the following Armenian punctuation marks placed above and slightly to the right of the vowel whose tone is modified, in order to reflect intonation. The Yerkaratsman Nishan which looks like a diagonally rising tilde is used as an exclamation mark. The Shesht which looks like a non-spacing acute accent is used as an emphasis mark. The Hartsakan Nishan is used as a question mark. Topic. Transliteration Topic. ISO 9985 1996 transliterates the Armenian alphabet for modern Armenian as follows In the linguistic literature on classical Armenian, slightly different systems are in use in particular note that C has a different meaning. Hubschman Meye have History and development Topic. Possible antecedents Topic. One of the classical accounts about the existence of an Armenian alphabet before Mashtots comes from Philo of Alexandria 20 BCE to 50 CE, who in his writings notes that the work of the Greek philosopher and historian Metrodorus of Skepsis ca. 145 BCE to 70 BCE, on animals, was translated into Armenian. Metrodorus was a close friend and a court historian of the Armenian emperor Tigranes the Great, and also wrote his biography. Another 3rd century Roman theologian, Hippolytus of Rome 170-235 CE, in his chronicle, while writing about his contemporary, Emperor Severus Alexander reigned 208-235 CE, mentions that the Armenians are amongst those nations who have their own distinct alphabet. Philostratus the Athenian, a sophist of the 2nd and 3rd centuries CE, wrote, and they say that a leopardess was once caught in Pamphylia which was wearing a chain round its neck, and the chain was of gold, and on it was inscribed in Armenian lettering, the king Arsaces to the Nisian god. According to the 5th century Armenian historian Mavses of Koran, Bardasanas of Edessa 154-222 CE, who founded the Gnostic current of the Bardasanites, went to the Armenian castle of Ani and there read the work of a pre-Christian Armenian priest named Vayump, written in the Mithraic Mahayan or Mirian lit, of Mihr or of Mithra, the Armenian national god of light, truth and the sun script of the Armenian temples in which, amongst other histories, an episode was noted of the Armenian king Tigranes the Seventh reign from 144 to 161, and again 164 to 186 CE, erecting a monument on the tomb of his brother, the Mithraic high priest of the kingdom of Greater Armenia, Mazan. Mavses of Koran notes that Bardasan is translated this Armenian book into Syriac, Aramaic, and later also into Greek. Another important evidence for the existence of a pre mashtathjan alphabet is the fact that the Armenian heathen pantheon included Tir, who was the patron god of writing and science. A 13th-century Armenian historian, Vardan Areveltsi, in his history, notes that during the reign of the Armenian king Leo the Magnificent reigned 1187-1219, artifacts were found bearing Armenian inscriptions of the heathen kings of the ancient times. The evidence that the Armenian scholars of the Middle Ages knew about the existence of a pre mashtathjan alphabet can also be found in other medieval works, including the first book composed in mashtathjan alphabet by the pupil of Mashtots, Korin, in the first half of the 5th century. Korin notes that Mashtots was told of the existence of ancient Armenian letters which he was initially trying to integrate into his own alphabet. Topic. Creation by Mashtots Topic. The Armenian alphabet was introduced by Mesrop Mashtots and Isaac of Armenia in 405 CE. Medieval Armenian sources also claim that Mashtots invented the Georgian and Caucasian Albanian alphabets around the same time. However, most scholars link the creation of the Georgian script to the process of Christianization of Iberia, a core Georgian kingdom of Kartli. The alphabet was therefore most probably created between the conversion of Iberia under King Mirian III 326 or 337 and the Bir el Kut inscriptions of 430, contemporaneously with the Armenian alphabet. 
Traditionally, the following phrase translated from Solomon's Book of Proverbs is said to be the first sentence to be written down in Armenian by Mashtots. Kanasel Zimistutin Eu Zixurat Amanal Zabans Hankaroi Kana El Zimistut Iun Yev Zx Rat, Amanal Z Bans Hankaroi, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. Various scripts have been credited with being the prototype for the Armenian alphabet. Pahlavi was the priestly script in Armenia before the introduction of Christianity, and Syriac, along with Greek, was one of the alphabets of Christian scripture. Armenian shows some similarities to both. However, the general consensus is that Armenian is modeled after the Greek alphabet, supplemented with letters from a different source or sources for Armenian sounds not found in Greek. The evidence for this is the Greek order of the Armenian alphabet, the au ligature for the vowel, u, as in Greek, and the shapes of some letters which seem derived from a variety of cursive Greek. It has been speculated by some scholars in African studies, following Dmitri Olderaj, that the Ge'ez script had an influence on certain letter shapes, but this has not been supported by any experts in Armenian studies. There are four principal calligraphic hands of the script. Urkadagir, or ironclad letters, seen as Mesrop's original, was used in manuscripts from the 5th to 13th century and is still preferred for epigraphic inscriptions. Bolorger, or cursive, was invented in the 10th century and became popular in the 13th. It has been the standard printed form since the 16th century. Noderger, or minuscule, invented initially for speed, was extensively used in the Armenian diaspora in the 16th to 18th centuries, and later became popular in printing. Shegager, or slanted writing, is now the most common form. The earliest known example of the script's usage was a dedicatory inscription over the west door of the church of St. Sarkis in Tekur. Based on the known individuals mentioned in the inscription, it has been dated to the 480s. The earliest known surviving example of usage outside of Armenia is a mid-6th century mosaic inscription in the chapel of St. Polyuktos in Jerusalem. A papyrus discovered in 1892 at Fayum and containing Greek words written in Armenian script has been dated on historical grounds to before the Arab conquest of Egypt, i.e. before 640, and on paleographic grounds to the 6th century and perhaps even the late 5th century. It is now in the Bibliothèque Nationale de France. The earliest surviving manuscripts written in Armenian using Armenian script date from the 7th-8th century. Certain shifts in the language were at first not reflected in the orthography. The digraph a o followed by a consonant used to be pronounced o as in luau in classical Armenian, but due to a sound shift it came to be pronounced o, and has since the 13th century been written o o. For example, classical or a w r ow day became pronounced o, and is now written er or, one word has kept a, now pronounced avenue again, pigeon. And there are a few proper names still having a before a consonant, taros taurus, pastos fastus, etc. For this reason, today there are native Armenian words beginning with the letter o, o although this letter was taken from the Greek alphabet to write foreign words beginning with o, o. The number and order of the letters have changed over time. In the Middle Ages, two new letters o, o, f, f, were introduced in order to better represent foreign sounds, this increased the number of letters from 36 to 38. From 1922 to 1924, Soviet Armenia adopted a reformed spelling of the Armenian language. The reform changed the digraph U and the ligature EV into two new letters, but it generally did not change the pronunciation of individual letters. Those outside of the Soviet sphere including all Western Armenians as well as Eastern Armenians in Iran have rejected the reformed spellings, and continue to use the traditional Armenian orthography. They criticize some aspects of the reforms see the footnotes of the chart and allege political motives behind them. Topic. Use for other languages Topic. For about 250 years, from the early 18th century until around 1950, more than 2,000 books in the Turkish language were printed using the Armenian alphabet. Not only did Armenians read this Turkish in Armenian script, so did the non-Armenian including the Ottoman Turkish elite. An American correspondent in Marish in 1864 calls the alphabet Armino-Turkish, describing it as consisting of 31 Armenian letters and infinitely superior to the Arabic or Greek alphabets for rendering Turkish. 
This Armenian script was used alongside the Arabic script on official documents of the Ottoman Empire written in Ottoman Turkish. For instance, the first novel to be written in Turkish in the Ottoman Empire was Vartan Pasha's 1851 Akabi Hikayesi, written in the Armenian script. When the Armenian Dujan family managed the Ottoman mint during the reign of Abdul Mesut I, they kept records in Armenian script but in the Turkish language. From the middle of the 19th century, the Armenian alphabet was also used for books written in the Kurdish language in the Ottoman Empire. The Armenian script was also used by Turkish-speaking assimilated Armenians between the 1840s and 1890s. Constantinople was the main center of Armenian scripted Turkish press. This portion of the Armenian press declined in the early 20th century but continued until the Armenian Genocide of 1915. In areas inhabited by both Armenians and Assyrians, Syriac texts were occasionally written in the Armenian script, although the opposite phenomenon, Armenian texts written in Serto, the Western Syriac script, is more common. The Kipchak speaking Armenian Christians of Podolia and Galicia used an Armenian alphabet to produce an extensive amount of literature between 1524 and 1669. The Armenian script, along with the Georgian, was used by the poet Syat Nova in his Armenian poems. An Armenian alphabet was an official script for the Kurdish language in 1921 to 1928 in Soviet Armenia. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Character encodings. Topic: The Armenian alphabet was added to the Unicode standard in version 1.0 in October 1991. It is assigned the range U plus 0530-058F. Five Armenian ligatures are encoded in the alphabetic presentation forms block code point range U plus FB13FB17. On 15 June 2011, the Unicode Technical Committee UTC accepted the Armenian DROM sign for inclusion in the future versions of the Unicode standard and assigned a code for the sign, U plus 058F. In 2012 the sign was finally adopted in the Armenian block of ISO and Unicode International Standards, the Armenian Eternity Sign. Since 2013, a designated point in Unicode U plus 058D, right-facing Armenian Eternity Sign, and another for its left-facing variant, U plus 058E, left-facing Armenian Eternity Sign. Topic. Legacy Topic. Armshii Armshii is a character encoding developed between 1991 and 1999. Armshii was popular on the Windows 9X operating systems. With the development of the Unicode standard and its availability on modern operating systems, it has been rendered obsolete. Arasan compatible Topic. Arasan compatible fonts are based on the encoding of the original Arasan font by Harant Papazian he started encoding in use since 1986, which simply replaces the Latin characters among others, of the ASCII encoding with Armenian ones. For example, the ASCII code for the Latin character A represents the Armenian character A. While Arasan compatible fonts were popular among many users on Windows 9X, the encoding has been deprecated by the Unicode standard. Topic: <laughs> Keyboard layouts. Topic: The standard Eastern and Western Armenian keyboards are based on the layout of the font Arasan. These keyboard layouts are mostly phonetic and allow direct access to every character in the alphabet. Because there are more characters in the Armenian alphabet 39 than in Latin 26, some Armenian characters appear on non-alphabetic keys on a conventional QWERTY keyboard for example, S maps to. See also Topic. Armenian Braille Armenian Calendar Armenian Numerals Armshii single byte encodings of the Armenian alphabet also discusses ISO 10585 and the mapping to Unicode Classical Armenian orthography Reformed Armenian orthography Romanization of Armenian includes ISO 9985 Topic References 
Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Armenotype site about Armenian typeface design and topography. Armenian Apostolic Orthodox Church Library online in English, Armenian, and Russian. Information on Armenian character set encoding. Armenian phonetic keyboard layout. Phonetic keyboard layout for Eastern Armenian Armenian transliteration. English French script to Armenian transliteration hiator.com online Latin to Armenian transliteration engine. Latin Armenian transliteration converts Latin letters into Armenian and vice versa. Supports multiple transliteration tables and spell checking. Transliteration schemes for the Armenian alphabet translitin.eki.ee Armenian orthography converters. Nayiri. Com integrated orthography converter reformed to classical <laughs>